What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. This is episode 18, I believe. Hey, let's go defect, I guess. Let's go debating defect or silent. But defect it is. Choose a card, max HP plus 7. Rare card with a curse, boss relic. Well, it's not boss relic, that's for sure. There's our burning elite. So we have to go either this way, this way, or this way. And of those three, this way looks to be the most profitable for us. So, there's no offer of gold. I guess we'll just take the max HP. And we'll start heading this way. Alrighty. Defect feels like it's been forever since I played with the defect. It hasn't been forever, but it feels like it, is what I mean. I think it's just because we've been doing so poorly recently. Alright, left it up to RNG and it got the job done. Wouldn't have mattered because we had enough block anyway, but still. He has weakened us. How very rude. Oh, well, claw deck it is. We're building a claw deck. Wow, this uh, could be better. Straight up taking 11, but we get two strikes, that is the end. We don't get two strikes. Now if we get two strikes, it is the end. Because he only gains six. He gains at max six. Nice. We want all for one, and we want more claws. That's all we really want. Self-repair is pretty good, too. As is a beam cell, actually. I think it's beam cell here. If we're buying anything, we're buying a beam cell. We can actually... Yes, we can with one HP, or one gold left. So we shall. Alright, so... Uh, all for one, I think is what it's called. I think we should really be trying to get that. Claw is nice, so we're definitely playing that. It's pretty bad that we can't do much else. Would have really preferred to have more defends there. But instead we're gonna take eight. What can you do? So one of them dies, which is nice. And the other one, we're not taking any damage from, which is also nice. And it's dead next turn. Which is a triple nice. Nothing there. Alright, we have the Flaming Elite coming up. We can heal, we can get max HP, or we can get a Relic. That's a lot of max HP. It's a decent amount of healing. It overheals us though, so I guess we'll take the max HP. Because I think we have enough as we are. Enough uh, HP. Max HP plus 10, that's fine. That's not that bad. I don't think we want to play the dual cast quite yet. I think max HP plus 10 is probably the easiest. If not, then the strength is probably the easiest. One of the two. Uh, we're not really willing to take nine extra damage. We don't have any healing, it's just not really worth it. We'll take four instead. It's better for us. Phases, of course, are going to be bad because we have such a, such a small deck. 
I mean, lightning orbs are choosing who we're focusing after this guy. I will give them that. If they stay consistent, that's great. More than likely, we're not going to be able to kill this guy this turn, but that's okay. Yeah, we're not going to be able to kill that guy this turn. Wow, we came pretty close, though. If we would have drawn slightly differently, it could have happened there. Took a bunch of damage, though, which is bad. Oh, that's not bad, it's not bad. Focus on the one in the back next, of course, because he only has 33 HP. Game kind of chose that for us. I ain't gonna go against it, you know. I just want to make sure we have enough orbs. Pardon me. <sighs> I just want to make sure we have enough orbs to continuously cast uh, dual cast. It's the only reason why I played. Uh, Played that there over anything else. Right. So we still need all for one. Hopefully we'll get it after the boss fight. We could get it here as well. I mean, we could get it at any point, but after the boss fight's when we would want it. It's the most likely time to get it, I should say. Alright, lightning orb right here. Just a wow wow. Nice. Nice. Love it when the game listens. I mean... What are you gonna do there? We're gonna make it through this fight, but... Took a lot of damage in the process. But it is a Burning Elite. You kind of expect to take a lot of damage against Burning Elites. Play three or less cards during your turn, draw three additional cards the next turn. It's not that great, because we're a claw deck. We're gonna be playing a lot of claws. We need some all for ones though. 32. Uh, we could fight an elite. Should we want to? We don't have any oh we do have if we go this way, we can fight an elite and have a rest spot in front of it. So I think we're gonna go for that. We'll upgrade the zap. We'd love to get that all for one, though. Golden Egg's too good. Centennial Puzzle's not that great. Yeah, we'll definitely do that. Okay. Got some gremlins. Double fat gremlins, so we're gonna be weakened for quite some time, but that means no, uh, no big boy gremlin, no, uh, the wizard guy, whatever his name is. That was a very lucky dual cast. As long as we get a block a turn, we'll be fine. We can just take out the uh, shield gremlin in the back there. We're doing fine. Yeah, we're all good. The fragment's good, but we're gonna pass on it. Since so we have that elite fight right here, we're gonna rest. Nob, huh? You know you're my friend, Nob. You know I don't want to do this to you, Nob. Which 
chunked him pretty good that turn, though. I will say that. Six isn't that bad, so I don't think we want to up his strength. Just for that. Okie dokie. See you next year, mister. Bag of marbles. Bag of marbles is fine. Oh, oh, oh baby. Alright, deck is taken off. Let's go. Let's go. It's happening, fellas. We're finally getting the redemption arc. Good deck, huh? <laughs> and then we just need to remove some more cards, add a couple more claws, upgrade some cards. We'll be good. We'll get there. Uh, who's the boss? Uh, it's only him. I mean, he's kind of annoying, but like, is he that annoying? Um, I don't know. Is he that annoying? What do we think? What are we thinking? We're either upgrading dual cast, beam cell, or we're resting. What are we thinking? I mean, 52, that should be enough, right? We have a pretty high caliber deck. I think we should go for the dual cast. Because we have the all for one now. So, it is a, a high value upgrade for us. Wow. Mode shift turn one. Let's go. We gotta try to not take, not take damage here, which I know is saying a lot, but we really gotta. <sighs> yeah, that only happens if we play it. Come on, we're guaranteed to get all for one next turn. That has to be the play, right? It just has to be. There's no way it isn't. If we get all of our cards next turn. It's gonna be so much damage. Yeah, I think that just, like, we'll take damage, but it's gotta be the play. Because they're gonna do so much extra damage. seen anything like it. <laughs> Alright, we need to do 25. Not a great turn to start, so we'll wait it out. Alright, he's gonna do 16 this turn. Uh, we can kill it pretty easily. God, those claws are so good. Um, Electrodynamics is a no. Echo form is a maybe. Fission is also a maybe. Fission could be good. Electrodynamics is just a no. There's just not enough value there. I think we just pass. I mean, do we want fission? 
Vision's good, but I don't think we need it. No, I think we're fine. Sneko Eye is a no. We no longer gain gold. That's kind of bad. Start with plus one strength. I think that's our best option. Maybe we should have passed there, because we don't really need energy, huh? But we definitely want to hit shops. So if we see a shop along the way, we got this shop we can hit. We're going to have to fight an elite either way. So we should hit both the shops. Yeah, I really think we should have passed on that last relic. Philosopher's Stone. I don't know why I took it. We don't need the energy. Yeah, we really don't need the energy. Focus is good, damage is good, energy is good. I think it's better than all those. It's another zero cost card for us. Can't complain there. The looters, we do want our gold. this deck that much better. Um, I really wish we didn't take that relic. Really do. That's doing nine. Yeah, we got him. We need draw. That's what we need. Or we need like a seek. A seek would be perfect for this deck. Birds are super scary. But we can knock them down and be content with that. Turns are going to be a little weak, because we don't have our all for one right now, so it's just going to be a bunch of zero cost cards, but I think that's fine. Ah. Our calls are so good. Unless it's a beam cell, I don't think we're going to be taking any more zero cost cards for now. This is the deck we've been waiting for, at least, so we did finally get something. So thank goodness for that. Those are all pretty decent cards, but we just don't need any of them for this deck. They just don't synergize. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, baby. Could have had any of these, but eh. Could also get the beam cell. I guess we will, now that we have two uh, all-for-ones. I think that makes the beam cell a little better. No. Not in this deck, absolutely not. This guy's annoying, for sure. I think we ditched this one first, actually. Oh, that just did 14, that wasn't... Whatever.
That's a little better. More along the lines of what I was asking for. Really wish we didn't take all that, uh... The Philosopher's Stone. We would have been way better off if we hadn't taken this. But what are you gonna do? Alright, good. That's what we prefer to see for sure. It was a 50-50. Pretty sure these guys run away, right? Yeah, minion. Yeah, get out of here. Bronze scales. Not amazing, but not that bad, I guess. Defrag is tempting, but nah, we don't need it. Our other shop right here. We just got a bunch of combat before then, so I guess we should rest. It's in our best interest. We do take a lot of damage with this deck. Oh, the red mask, huh? All right, now we know it's this order that we go in for the full, uh, the full conversation. Some peace bear. Then we want to kill Romeo, and then we want to kill Pointy. Because last time we killed Bear, and then we killed Pointy, and it didn't give us any uh, dialogue, so I think it's this order. didn't give us any dialogue either. So I guess it's just killing bear first is the one that gives you dialogue. But our red mask is super good. I'll take that for sure. Reserved insect. We keep getting it, but we don't really want it. Yes. Um, this is just the cheaper way to do it. We want to ditch the strikes. The strikes are uh, less valuable than the defense right now. We only have 58 gold, so we're not going to be able to do anything in this shop. Should we just go this way instead? Save ourselves some combat? Let's do that. Okay, let's not save ourselves some combat and let's fight Sneko instead. What a start, though. What a good start. What a good deck. Oh, I love this deck. It's getting there. It's coming along. Still got some more cards to remove, but we're getting there. Um, sure, right? Yeah. Right. We hate this guy. We really hate this guy, but... We'll wind up being okay. Oh, I played that before the dual cast, that was my bad. thinking about not taking it, but screw it. Not a great relic for us, but it's fine. Hope you're ready, champ, once we get to you. Alright. This is pretty good, I can't lie.
Alright, all for one. One all for one this turn, not two, just one. Well, two I guess would be fine too. Because we did take that extra relic, so... I guess getting both of them wouldn't be that bad, but... So you're definitely dead. There's no way you have... Yeah, you're dead. And we get all these back. Claws at nine. I definitely want to weaken you in the back. We don't have anything to dual cast, so that's not going to be that great. We can finish you off. May as well play it, just cause. Oh, yeah, we don't need this. I'll take that. <laughs> Poor champ, we should rest. We'll give him a little bit of respect. It is champ. He is a scary boss. That's not really what we wanted to see. I mean, it is a start, but that's not at all what we wanted to see. Let's gain focus. So we do a little bit extra damage. Oops, should have done that first. Should be fine. We're chunking them pretty hard. Alright, we need one of our all for ones this turn and a bunch of our claws. Bunch of claws and one of our all for ones. Not at all what I asked for. Look at how many claws we have. What do we have in here? We have go for the I don't know, we have a couple good cards. We're getting there. Unfortunately, we don't have our other uh, all for one, and we're gonna have to wait to draw it again. But we do have a bunch of claws coming up. So at this point, we're just kind of hoping that our claws are gonna be enough. They're doing a lot, but we're dead. Aren't we? Oh no, we're not. We're not. We're not. Phew. Okay. Seek is what we asked for earlier, so we will take that. What do we got here? White Beast is actually really good. Orrery could be good, because we could get more claws out of it. Let's actually go for that. White Beast is good, but we just, we, we're really looking for some claws here. If we don't get any claws, we should have taken the White Beast. Don't think we need any more beam cells. Yeah, we didn't get any claws. What a shame. Should have taken the White Beast. Alright, we got the power. That's perfect. If we can get to him, that's perfect. Hit a double shop. Triple shop. I doubt we're gonna have enough money for that, but let's go for it. Alright, and single orb walker should be fine. Taking 12. It happens. We just we do so much damage. Oh no. Why? Alright, they're 
They're gonna be doing a bunch of damage this turn, probably. One of them's gonna be doing 16 times 2. Or 6 times 2. 8 times 2. 9 times 2. Jeez Louise. Maybe it would have been worth it to pop that potion. I don't know. We'll have to see. Okay. More than likely not going to take anything here. Attack from your draw pile into your hand. That's pretty good. That can be useful, I guess. Good branch. Oh well. It's the last strike. Three jaw worms isn't so bad. Let's be, let's be weird. bad actually we took a lot of damage but you know what I mean all right the mall the mall shouldn't be that bad with this deck Whew, what a start this is the kind of start we're asking for Oh my gosh. Should we even be taking the claws at this point? There's so many of them. Holy moly. Well, we can't quite afford it, but we're not too far off. It's fine. We'll wait. Let's see. The other shop's right here. Definitely want to hit that. Nice. Let me remove a card from my deck. Heal to full HP, huh? That's pretty tempting. We'd lose 11 max HP. Yeah, let's do it, actually. Screw it. Let's do it. 
go this way as well. Meat on the bone. It's fine. Nice. This is a nice and easy fight. That was pretty lucky. Doing pretty well. Alright, what do we want to upgrade? Probably just a claw, right? Maybe a beam cell. What do you do? Oh, you're not exhausted. Who cares? Seek? Two cards. Seek is pretty good. Seek or claw? I guess claw for more damage. It's not a lot of damage, but it starts at a little higher. A tier up. Immediately travel to the boss. No, because we have a shop in the way. We want to hit that shop. Varja. Data disk. Those are all pretty good, but I think just removing something is a little better. What would we remove? Probably a defend, right? Yeah. May as well take one of these. This guy's scary. Well, if he had a chance, he would have been scary. He had no chance, though. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> we never recalled. Oh, I thank goodness I noticed that last second. We never recalled. Oh. That was a close one. I thought we had played Zap. I guess not. It's fine. This is pretty scary still, because we're not out of the water yet. I'm 
We didn't get our uh, all for one when we wanted it there. Always seems to happen that way, doesn't it? Pretty decent chance of getting our other all for one right now. We're gonna need it if we don't want to die. Nice. I don't know if that's enough, but we're gonna see. I think it is. I'm actually certain that's enough. Yeah. Thought so. Alright, we did recall right before the end there. So we are still going to make it. 40 minute run, that's pretty quick. Especially for a defect run. Love the claw deck meta. Now the double boys are going to be spooky because we don't have a lot of defense. Like, we don't have a lot of defensive cards. So... They're going to be a little, uh, little spooky. We'll, take, we'll upgrade Seek. I feel like that's our best upgrade. We don't have any money. Maybe we'll get like a potion or something if we can afford one. We can't. We can get another claw. <laughs> Make it an even 20, why not? Alright. Spooky boys here. Decent start. Which is better? 8 and 14 as compared to 12 and 9. So, plus four, minus five. Okay, that's worth it then. We want to go this way. So close. We actually could have killed him that turn if we wanted to. But he's only doing nine to us, so... This is the beginning of the end. This might actually be the end for this man. Yeah, this is absolutely the end for this man. Sorry, buddy. I don't think we have a chance here, because we're going to take damage every time we do damage, and we're just not going to be able to afford that, but it's a good start, you know? It's a, it's a good deck. It got all the way here, so... I can't fault it. It did make it all the way. We also have Bronze Scales, which is great for this fight. Void is completely fine. If we would have just gotten a bunch of Voids, we would have been fine with that. Honestly. Secret Weapon. Well, Secret Weapon a Claw. Uh, should have Secret Weapon did all for one, actually. Wasn't thinking there. I'm pretty sure we're just dead, right? But, I mean, we're gonna do as much as we can before we die, right? We actually could have lived <laughs> if we were smarter, but we're not, so. Oh well. We're showing the power of the deck. If we made it through that turn, I feel like we probably could have beat him. If we beat him that turn, the turn after, I mean, we probably could have beat him, but we had him on the ropes once again. So, excellent deck. Love the defect. Love claw decks when you can get them popping. Thanks for watching. Really hope you enjoyed. I think we had a pretty good deck there, so see you in the next episode.